Ken from Vetter's Marine Printing here today. Today we're going to talk about what type of screens we use here in our shop and um, what kinds of screens that you guys could be using uh, to do different jobs. Um, lately we've been printing jobs um, where you know the garment will be black and then they also get some gray or some tan or some um, OD green and with that um, you know the ink color changes. So normally with the white color ink, you want to print on a 110 to 125, give or take. You can't print 160 on it, um, but you would have to, you know, get a really uh, creamy type white or you have to put a reducer in it. Um, that being said, with our design that we've been printing lately, um, we have to swap to, from white to black to gold. And what we've been doing is we've been printing on the 160 and typically we'll print on a 160. Um, Unless we're doing a, a, a big piece where it allows, you know, for under base, we'll print on a 125. We don't carry 110 in our shop. We do carry one, uh, 125. Um, but like, say if you're gonna print some glitter type ink or a specialty ink like along those lines, you'd wanna use about a 40 mesh. And for black, you'd wanna use about 200. You can use 180. And um, so what we've been, like I said, what we've been printing on is 160. We have, 125, 160, and 200 in our shop. Um, we haven't had really anything else that we needed it for. Um, so if you don't know about screen meshes, you know, the lower the number, the bigger the holes are for the mesh count. Um, so it allows you to apply more ink down. The higher the number, the smaller the holes are, so it allows you to pry, uh, apply uh, less ink down. Um, you know, so, that's why you would want to use a 200 or a 180 for black ink because that's the most creamiest and the easiest to pass through any ink uh, through the screen. Uh, 110 or 125 for white ink because that's the most thickest and that's the hardest to print with unless you're using some type of reducer. Um, so like I said, what we've been doing, uh, we've been doing a couple screens um, where we have to swap back and forth with colors and you know, you can print, uh, you can do, do two different screens for this, um, but we just find it easier, hey, just clean it up because we don't put a whole lot of ink down uh, to do these jobs. We just put what we think we need and then we go with it. If we need more, then we put more, um, you know, halfway through the run or whatever. Um, so this is what we do in our shop. Um, and a good average screen that is, can be used almost for almost any job is a 160 mesh or a 156 depending on where you get it from. Um, I know on Amazon you can get a six pack of 160s for around 120, 125. Same bad, for, you know, next day shipping, uh, you know, if you have Prime. So this is what we use in our shop. If you have any comments, if you have any questions about, you know, what type of screen should you be using, you can definitely reach out, leave a comment below, email us. Um, but for the most part, we use 160. So if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave comments, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time.